Okay, gosh, gosh darn it. My mouth isn't working. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do? We're in, we're in for a big, long, awful night of a blow. No, welcome, welcome. Hey, all you little chatterboxes. You showed up early. <laughs> it's wonderful. And I think I've gained five pounds reading about the stuff you're eating. I don't know if that's possible, but it sure seems like it. Mr. Producer's over there just working away, getting everything ready for a show to present to you, our friends. This is Craft Roulette. What is Craft Roulette? Well, in a nutshell, it is the ultimate paper crafting card making game show challenge and we are live almost every Friday night right here on YouTube saving a seat for you. And we're always glad when you visit. It's just a lovely, lovely group and um, I'm honored to be a part of it. Couple things we want to talk about first before we meet our wonderful guest tonight, uh, Christopher Allen want to say welcome to the friends of Eileen that were here last week. I hope you're back. We enjoyed having you and Eileen and we're just when, the, when we talk about Eileen's card that she kept the book we just have to cover our eyes some of this. I am Mary Gunn of Mary Gunn Fun. Your intrepid hostess. I forgot to say that. And slideshow. I loved it. I loved it. It was beautiful. You guys took children's stories and did amazing things. So proud. I don't know how you do. You top yourself every dad gum week, but you do. You do. And keep it, keep them coming. If you did make a card last week and it's in the slideshow and in our gallery on craftroulette.live, please stick around because we have some wonderful prizes to give away at the end of the show, but you have to have sent in a card. So that's what qualifies you. Happy anniversary to Mr. Gunn. He is married. He married his best wife, his only wife, 44 years ago tonight, I be, he became the happiest man on earth. <laughs> I'm saying that for him. <laughs> but anyway, it's a wonderful night to have an anniversary. I want to say happy anniversary to my daughter as well. She and Matthew have been married 12 years, and so it's a great night. If anybody's thinking about getting married, June 2nd is a wonderful time to do it. So anyway, if you haven't given us a thumbs up and sh share the show, we would really appreciate that. It's always very helpful. We have some wonderful spin sponsors this month it is a new month and we have some new spin sponsors including brutus monroe and i know you like some brutus monroe we're going to talk to the founder of brutus monroe all evening pear blossom press amanda stevens is going to be here later this month and she is our spin sponsor again we love amanda and May May did it, made it. <laughs> she did it, she made it, she showed it, she flew it. I don't know, but she's great. And we're going to meet her later this month as well. The, all three of those are spin sponsors for the whole month, and they will be giving away wonderful gift certificates. But we're going to learn more about Brutus Monroe and a brand new release. Brand new release in just a few minutes. We are not sponsored by any company. We are sponsored by our patrons, and we are so thankful for them, and we love them so much. And if you want to learn more about how to get extra content, behind-the-scene content, lots of fun, uh, and support our shows, we w give you all sorts of information over on our website, which is craftroulette.live. Do want to say, hey, congratulations, guys. We have a 100 people in the card exchange now which is pretty darn exciting and there's a whole bunch of you like 13 that have been born in june so our happy birthdays go out to our patrons ally cope who who today it's the circle guru it's her birthday happy birthday kathy christians grandma gay's birthday is this month gloria davis gwen simmons katherine taylor carrie hare kristen Mat matterano Lisa Welpley, I hope your dog gives you a little present. Makira, Robin Alexander, Sire Anderson, and Teresa Farrington. Happy birthday to you all. Your birthday cards are out there in the next room. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on them all weekend. We do want to welcome to our patron blog and website, Leslie Miller, Marlene Vitali, Cindy McLean and an upgrade we say thank you to Cheryl Jackson who lives to amuse lives to amuse Mr. Mike 
wearing is team purple. I'm wearing my team orange. I'm trying to keep life completely balanced. My yin to the yang and all that. We do have wonderful merch as well, such as this. Team orange. Can't, can't beat it. And who can forget our wonderful craft roulette, the basics t stamp set. All those troublesome, <laughs> you get troubled by parameters like paperclip and robot well we've got the stamp set for you we've, <laughs> we've got it all figured out for you so you can get those pesky parameters in line anyway that's all that let's get on with the show shall we please give a warm craft roulette welcome to our friend from pennsylvania the man behind brutus monroe christopher allen yay hello everyone <laughs> hello hello and the crowd went wild. <laughs> Welcome, Christopher. It's so nice to have Thank you, you here. We've I'm just so been bustling be around. <laughs> You've had a busy week. We have. We've had a very busy week here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. Certainly. So uh, my name is Christopher Allen, and I founded the company Brutus Monroe. Uh, we are a company that's based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we have all of our operations here. We have uh, an 8,000 square foot building, which houses our retail location, uh, which we call our studio store. And we call it that because our production studio is here as well. Uh, we do manufacturing here. We also have, of course, our production studio that I'm in right now, as well as all of our offices and fulfillment. So everything is based right here in this building. And it's a dream come true because back when I started the company, everything was spread out in different places, different rooms, and it was madness. So it's wonderful to have everything uh, right here. I bet. I bet. Well, we do have some things in common, like loving dogs. Mm -hmm. your, yes. your, your sweet company was named or your company was named after your sweet dog. Yes. And Brutus as soon as Monroe. I learned that, I went, oh, he's my people. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the late Brutus Monroe. And he, yeah. his name is, 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 is everywhere around the building. There's not a place you can go in this building and his memory is not somehow held. That's sweet. That really is sweet. Well, so that I don't let the evening go by too fast. I know yeah. a lot of people know who you are already and mm -hmm. are familiar with Brutus Monroe products, but tell us so that I don't miss it. What's going on special this week at Brutus Monroe? You've got Absolutely. an anniversary and a release that I want yeah. everybody to know about. Yeah. So, uh, number one, today is, uh, I guess, the celebration of all anniversaries, because uh, today <laughs> is five years since we've opened our retail store. So we, we had a retail store previously. It was teensy tiny. And we opened up our newest retail location five years ago today. And it is a dream come true. It really is the apothecary of crafts. It's, it's really, 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 really cool. And it's very funky. And I, I uh, encourage everyone to go on to YouTube and look at the tour of the building. It has a lot of history. It's it's just a really, really cool space. So to commemorate that, uh, we have a promotion going on right now. You can actually check it out on our website as well as our Instagram and anywhere you, you check out Brutus Monroe, where you will get free gifts at different levels of purchase. Now, obviously, there's not a purchase necessary to get gifts. Uh, we will be sending out gifts in all of the orders as well. But, uh, you know, sporadically in the orders, not every order will get a gift, if that makes sense. But there will be some commemorative things in several orders, as well as gift oh. cards and things like that. Uh, but we also released our Oz collection. So the Oz collection launched on Thursday and it, it launched Thursday evening and you all have been loving it. And we appreciate that <laughs> so much because we've been working on it for about eight months and it's finally here. Oh. And it is such a cool collection. We have everything from aqua pigments, which are our liquid watercolors that match the characters uh, down to dyes and stencils and stamps and conversation clippings and glitter and sequins. So it really is an all-encompassing collection. And if you love Oz or you love anything that has to do with The Wizard of Oz, you really do want to check out our collection. And I should, I should also, I, well, I should also mention that it is not based upon the movie. So there's a lot of right. folks that that wanted it to be based upon uh, the MGM movie and um, <clears throat> illustrating in that style would be very difficult because it's, you know, to color that I believe would be very difficult. So we, we mm -hmm. based ours upon the book and I really, really love the book characters. So I think that you'll, you'll love those illustrations as well. It's a vast collection. I watched the release and yeah. it, uh, man, you, you have everything 
Six ways to Sunday to make something. <laughs> it's, uh, we if, sure you don't, do. <laughs> if it's not uh, if it's Oz, it's there. <laughs> it is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was very clever. And your release was cute because you were in black and white. Then you went to Oz and it was colored just like the movie. And yes. I, I have my well team produced. to thank for that. That was they 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 do a, a wonderful job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to learn more about that. And hopefully we'll get some parameters that you can use those things. There may be a few things on the wheel right now that would help that. It would be wonderful. I... <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it happens. But yeah. we had, um, you had a question for me before we got started on that. Um. Yes. What is chat? Our craft roulette. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My mouth's not working anyway. Let's find out. <laughs> What is Craft Roulette? Craft Roulette is a live paper crafts challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for. Project, Colors, Element, and Random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. We're live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash Craft Roulette. Please like and subscribe. Each week we bring on a special guest crafter to create along with us and share their unique take on the challenge. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to contribute by submitting pictures of your project through the submission form on craftroulette.live. Contributions are featured on marygunfun.com's weekly episode blog and the next episode. Let's recap last week's episode and submissions. Well, that's... Craft roulette. <laughs> I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure what we were talking about. Anyway, it's going to be a wild and woolly night, and I'm ready for it. I am. <laughs> we did have a fun week last week with all those little parameters that you got. Well, let's go over a few of them and do a little uh, achievement parade here and celebrate some of our people that got some milestones, some new people. It's all just, we like to just support throw up glitter and just have a good night so okay so have you are new these are all the pins going in from where we got uh, contributions we've had we have over 16,000 cards if you lay them out side by side it takes it does go over a mile <laughs> if they're all a2 my card had um, dubious reference to a children's story so I did write a limerick and uh, I did recite it on Tuesday night but it, the project was card with flaps winter colors children's story and tiles it was great you guys did a wonderful job but that was my card Eileen Hall was with us and she was worried because she's not a card maker but she made one and it's kind of like a book card and it turned out just fine. It was a golden book. It's a little hard for those who <laughs> love those little golden books, but it did turn out just right for her. Thank you, Eileen, for coming on. Do you want to invite Christopher in to uh, join us for the achievements? So you will just be down there in the square and we will be talking. We'll just have a few cards come up and say hi and thank you to some folks and then we'll get to the wheel Perfect. so we'd like to welcome first timer angie downs from nebraska her story was abc one two three leslie miller from alabama with her beautiful card nutcracker laura moreland from iowa sent in her e-i-e-i-o that could be a wizard of oz card Lisa Hoel from Idaho sent in this beautiful blue card. So many different styles. Kathy Day sent in a real neutral card, Christmas. So fun to have you guys. Heather B. from the UK sent in this beautiful card. Welcome to Craft Roulette. 
Ernie Simpson sent in his first card from New Jersey. <laughs> Very blue. Annie sent in her card from California. I think it's, yep, Happy Feet. Sure enough. Love it. We do talk about some of these cards on Tuesday night as well. Ellen from Spokane sent in this cute card. Lenine from Washington sent in a cute, really complicated card. Alice. Alice in Wonderland. Mm hmm. Norma hit a major milestone. Oh. She has sent in 50 cards, a lot of them with oh. Great Danes. Karen has sent in 75 cards. Congratulations, Karen. Mary also has sent in 75 cards. That's so many. <laughs> As has Amy Prather Smith, 75 cards. She's a male. male <laughs> oh, Christopher. <laughs> Melanie Foy from Illinois has hit our mug club level at 100. Leading ladies, Smurf Murphy has sent in 126. Her twin in wow. Australia, Jackie Muller, has also sent in 126. Kathy Herring has sent in 130, and we congratulate you very, very highly. 5K now, 6K Lamone has sent in 132. Always colorful, fun cards. Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis has sent in 143 consecutive cards. Amazing. And our leading lady, leading lady, Patty Beck has sent in 160 consecutive cards. She's not missed a, a card sent in from since wow. number five. Whoa. We just like wow. to congratulate you all. Thank you so much for carving out a little time in the week and, weekend or week and sending in a card and playing along with this. I, it's just uh, an amazing journey. You know, I... I don't get nervous anymore about those leading ladies. I used to get nervous and think, oh, what if they don't send one in this week? And now it's like, there's no, I would be on the phone going, are you okay? Are you in the yep. hospital? Because yeah. if you're not in the hospital, I better be seeing that card. <laughs> Where is your homework? <laughs> That's right. There's yeah. no dog eating that card. Now you get that in. Nope. <laughs> anyway, it's it's cool to be able to say a, throw a little glitter their way and say thank you and congratulations and well done. Because there's not a lot Absolutely. of that in the world, is there? <laughs> not enough. That's what we're here for. Encourage that's them. right. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. Well, you know, that's the part of the show about last week. Okay. Now we're going to get busy with this week. That means, Mr. Producer, bring on the parameters. We said a couple sentences without messing up a word. I'm kind of You're doing good. I'm kind, of, kind of feeling a little I'm like a peacock. Anyway, there are the parameters. We will be spinning oh, this wheel. Oh, he got turned. What the heck? Uh, we will be spinning this wheel to see um, what we get. We're going to get a project, uh, some colors to work with, an element, and some random things just throw in to make it exciting and fun. Christopher. <laughs> you are ready. We're going to tell them how you're how you prepared for tonight in just a second. But we do like <laughs> to give. <laughs> it's really cute. We do like to give our patrons a chance to veto something. That means if the wheel lands on it, we, we will spin again. We don't have to make it use that parameter tonight. You can use it if you want, but you don't have to. And for colors, I said no. Thank you to Jolly Colors. I don't know what number. There it is. For element, they said no thank you to walk or walks. There it is. And for random, they don't want to add wings to whatever they get. Add wings is hiding. There it is. You did well. And we also like to give our guest a little bit of veto power. Is there something? On, you said that you don't want any Z fold card or something funny no, no, like no. that. So <laughs> no. let's see. No Z, -fold. Z fold is up there, number two. Is that your choice? Uh, I choose one, correct? Right. Yes, Z fold. We're not that nice. <laughs> okay, Z fold out the door. We'll talk about how easy those are. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's yeah. your choice. Now, if you could tell the wheel what to land on, what would you want? What, if you were a betting man, 
Uh, I would say I, I love square cards. So I would start okay. with, for the project, I would do a square card. I, I love okay. squares. Uh, for colors, I would say that I would like uh, really, to tell you the truth, I love really any colors, but happy colors, I think, would probably be my favorite. Did you, did you notice there's a Wizard of Oz on number 15? Um, Wizard of Oz is what I would choose for <laughs> uh, for colors. I did not notice that, but yes, yeah. I would choose that. Uh, yeah. And then for elements, I would probably choose uh, monkeys because of the flying monkeys that we mm -hmm. uh, currently mm -hmm. have. And there's a lot of monkeys in our Safari release as well. And then for okay. random, I really have been drawn to the uh, the shimmer. I think because, I mean, I, I, my motto is when you think there's too much glitter, add three more shakes. So I think that uh, <laughs> shimmer would definitely be one that I would enjoy. <laughs> Well, okay, so if you had your druthers, you would have a square card with Wizard of Oz, Oz colors and monkeys and shimmer. That would make a great card, I'm pretty darn sure. And all sorts of cards could be made out of those combinations, too. Just not Absolutely. just Yeah, lots. We do like to say tell everybody that this show is not about teaching. It's not about say, using product and doing process things in particular, even though we can talk about product. But what we do like to um encourage is people to be artistic and use their artistic expression and their creativity to make a card and join us because that's it's fun and we are not here to say well that's not it if you can tell us um how you use whatever parameters we get we're we're good with it so um spin all right let's warm it up all the best to you christopher all the best Woo, to us all can't wait. <laughs> All right, for project, will we get a square card? There's also a six by six card. That, that would work, work as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, small bag. Okay, we'll talk about each and every one of these things. Don't worry. For colors, will we get Wizard of Oz colors? Or something that would work for that? Number 11, rainbow. Oh, perfect. Spot on, spot okay, on. We'll take it element what will we get will we get a rainbow monkeys <laughs> oh wheel wheel hmm okay i wonder who put that on and for random <laughs> i think mr wheel put it on for random what will we get number 15. shimmer you got one one out of four well, i'll take that's it. not that's not <laughs> The worst of all things. Okay, oh, no. let's talk about these things. Project small bag. That doesn't mean that it has to be a literal small bag. Okay. It can also mean that you have some sort of small bag on a card. So you can still do a square card if you want. Your square card could be a small bag. Or you could be putting a small bag. Or somebody can be carrying a bag. You could put Toto in a bag, um, anything like that. It doesn't, it's not, it can be literally a bag or artistically something that um, seems like a bag. <laughs> okay. Features of bag. Yeah. Pictures of bags. A purse could be okay. a bag, a shopping bag, okay. a book bag. Um, anything bag or bag adjacent. <laughs> that's exactly right. Okay. That's exactly right. So we don't want to, we don't want to make you be too limited in that. <laughs> Colors, rainbow. How did you get that? I mean, seriously. I'll take it. I will take <laughs> that's, it. That's great. So rainbow color is going to be anything, anything you want, pretty much. Perfect. You can always add a neutral to You don't it. necessarily have to include the whole rainbow. Correct. You can include parts of the rainbow. Yep. Awesome. Yep. You could even make it monochromatic if you had, if you wanted, oh, I'm going to use blue violet and then just make blue violet. It'd be okay. As okay, long as perfect. you can explain it to us, we're happy to see it and see what you do. Wheel. Absolutely. Now that's a little bit. <laughs> How do you work that one into, oh, you could do bicycles with... Do you have a bicycle in your Wizard of Oz? Um, we do not, but I have an idea. Oh. I have okay. an idea. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Because you could, um, if you did have a bicycle stamp or a bicycle uh, 
element or a craft roulette stamp set <laughs> that has yeah. wheels on it. Well, I, I, I just learned I just shape. learned that you had one today. I saw somebody posted it on Instagram, so I will be getting mine. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Yeah, it's just um we we thought it would be fun to have some of our craft roulette kind of things on a stamp oh, yeah. set. And it's been it's been a lot of fun. And there's been some really creative, cute cards that coming out of it. So wheel can be okay, let's talk about wheel can you could do all sorts of round things and and okay. make them in a wheelie kind of oh you were talking about the return to oz didn't you say mm -hmm. those guys had wheel arms and hands yeah. like wheelies we, yeah oh. we didn't include that in the release <laughs> <laughs> Nuts. They, were, they were terrifying <laughs> yeah, that's a horrible do idea stamp sets have ratings <laughs> stamp right set should. yeah must okay, be sixteen or older to use this set. <laughs> yeah, Pro it was, it well, there was are terrifying. some actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's oh, see yeah, what the is. chatterbox. Yeah. <laughs> let's see what the chatterbox is saying. Wheelbarrow, uh, steering wheel, wagon wheel, bike wheel, steering wheel, trucks, Ferris wheel, um, cog wheel, co clock wheel. The chatterboxes, uh, they're so rich with ideas. Um, so they're okay. So you can do all sorts. Of, there's no, if you have a police car, there you go, Heidi. Deputy Heidi is always thinking of police things. Gears or wheels with cogs. They are, yeah. they are. So you could be doing wheelies. Okay. All right. So you've got all sorts of good ideas going on. A rainbow school bus. Yeah. With wheels. So anything that has a car or anything that moves. Yep, the element does not have to be the focal point. It nope. can just be a checkbox that is, you know, checked off somewhere in the card mm -hmm. or the image. Mm -hmm. Yep. I have an yep. idea. Okay. I think I might be coming into one as well. And then shimmer. Well, what's your favorite shimmer then, Mr. Allen? Do you like... I would say... I mean, I would say I, I have a shimmer mist in front of me that I, I may use. Uh, we also have, of course, glitter stock. We have glitter glaze. Uh, I have lots. Of, we have our, our wonderful uh, sequin sheets. So I have lots Ooh. of shimmer <laughs> sitting here uh, before me. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be doing, we'll be having some good shimmer this week. Everything's going to yeah. be shiny and pretty. So it's just, just remember that not everything has to be the big thing. It can be, you can find other things that include all of these kind of parameters that you can create with. So it'll be fun to see what, what people come up with. It's going to be a great gallery once again. I can't so, wait. Are you are you ready to go see what's in those bins? All those marked I am. bins. Okay. <laughs> I am. Really fast, oh. Christopher. Do you want to explain how you prepared for the show? Because it is yes. it is quite funny. It is. I've oh, never yes. seen anybody um, do this. Actually, if, do you want to hand me one of those bins? Uh, so my I have the the greatest production team in the entire country. Uh, literally the best production team. And when we knew that we had the honor of being on on craft roulette, <laughs> that uh, my team jumped into action and they prepared bins for me of every possible of every possible scenario that we could possibly get into tonight. And when I tell you that there are hundreds of products that were pulled so that we could be prepared for tonight. There are literally hundreds of products. 331,776. <laughs> yeah, and I feel bad because I, I, well, I'm I, probably going to use six of them. So right, I, I and feel, then they're I all terrible. Yeah, they all got to go back after that. Yeah. That's right. Well, they'll just That's get right. put away in the in the studio, so they're not going to. Okay. Far. All right. Well, they they did a good. I hope they had fun doing it. Wheel of cheese. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good one too. A wheel of yeah. cheese. All right. Well, let's let everybody enjoy this great production of what is in review. And we'll go get our stuff. We'll be back in a few minutes. Perfect. Yahoo! Thank you. <laughs> Does card making ever wear you out? You just having one of those days? Do you ever say to yourself, I wish there were more craft roulette on each week? Well, have we got good news for you? In Review is like part two of Craft Roulette, which features you, our card contributors. 
It'll be easy to find because it airs here on our Craft Roulette YouTube channel. We go live almost every Tuesday evening at 6.30 p.m. Central, and we do a number of fun things during the show, including Mail Call, where I share some of the nice cards and goodies people send us. Our Card Showcase, where we take a longer look at some of the contributions sent in from the most recent episode. And our Who Done It Mystery Game, where I recreate a card from the most recent episode's gallery, live on air. Everyone in the live chat gets to try and figure out which card I'm recreating. So, if you want more of what we do on Craft Roulette, you'll love our show in review. The Who Done It Mystery Game is just a game, and we do not actually solve mysteries, but we do actually solve mysteries. The show is supposed to be on Tuesdays, but we reserve the right to reschedule as necessary. Mary will not always know what she is doing, especially with buttons and or math. Stretchy pants and snacks are not required, but advisable. Please bring a friend. Too much fun for one person included. Wondering where Heather is in Philadelphia. Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. They are getting everything ready. <laughs> and we are getting ready over here, too. I am going to make a vehicle card with craft roulette wheels, and we'll see how that works out. I think it's going to be fine. Michelle Lupton, how's your mama doing? Michelle Lupton was originally scheduled for tonight, but her mom had surgery, so we're going to get her back later in the fall. I hope you got her up. Here, do you want to come back in? You want to come back in, Christopher? Oh, nope, he's not ready. Just kidding. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Aw. She's coming home tomorrow. That's awesome. That'll be that's therapeutic right there. There you go. Good deal. That's wonderful. Okay, so um, these little cars, I've made them, not lately, but I have made them. And they're free form. But we'll be fine. And then I've got my little wheel from my craft roulette set. <laughs> and I've got a bag. I've got my purse. See, this is very, very good. I've got my purse, which is a small bag. So I will be able to make a purse card truck <laughs> and and i was thumbing through my little dies and i found all these little pre-cut rainbow colors little flowers Is that a so i'm gonna be able to mine yes my my little die machine is a cuddle bug and it doesn't, it's not made anymore, Carol. I see that you're asking. It's not made anymore. And my, my plates were just awful. And then I went to a used, like, craft store. And they had a brand new package for uh, 15 bucks. And I bought them. But it still works. So I didn't, I, I still use it. It's good. It's a good machine. I've had it for years. But, okay, so I'm not going to make black tires. Because I want... I'm going to use these colors. They're happy. <laughs> I don't even remember cutting them. <laughs> well, I'm on, I'm really curious about what Christopher is going to do. It's going to be fun. His, um, will it be Wizard of Oz? Will it be Jungle? We're not sure. Yeah, yeah. I think the flowers would be good, too. Okay. So, okay, so we're going to put the wheels here. We're going to actually cut the bottom off.
and then we're going to be able to put the wheels so that it's still a, the size of an A2 card right there and there. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a, I'll know where they go. And I think, here we go. Here we go into Adventureland. I'm going to bring myself in a little bit. I'm going to work with a pencil for a few minutes. This is going to be a, this is going to have big wheels. <laughs> We're bringing Christopher back in. Yahoo! Hello, everyone. All right. So my <laughs> idea, if I can achieve it, is uh -huh. I am going to create a Wizard of Oz card. And the okay. background is going to be uh, one of our new stamps, which is called Best of Friends. And it is going to, uh, I'm going to cut out the top portion of it. And I'm, I'm sure you're probably going to have a hard time seeing it. But I'm going to cut out the top portion of it here. Uh -huh. And then for my wheel, I am going to attach a circle behind here so that you can spin it. And it will change from Glinda to the Wicked Witch. So Good heavens. If, <laughs> so when you spin the wheel, Oops. you'll either see Glinda up here or you will see the Wicked Witch at the top where our characters are running towards. And then I just so happen for the inside, because uh, I would like to do a little gift card for whoever's getting this to see the Wizard of Oz when it comes in the theater like it does every year. I have a rainbow bag that I'm going to put inside that you can uh, put your little gift card into. Wow. Now, so I think I hopefully I'm going to hit all of them. <laughs> I don't think generally we have a phone a friend option in this in this particular thing, but you may need a wizard to get this one done. <laughs> well, I'm going phone to work as wizard. quickly as I can. <laughs> oh, you're just fine. Let's relax. And it's Friday night. You've worked hard. Let's just have a little craft time. And yeah, and I think well, I think I'll be able to, to achieve it. Uh, pretty easily now that the thought is in my mind that's a uh, big i just have start. to execute it yeah that's a big start yeah so i'm just going to stamp my background real quick i'm using my misty and i'm using the stick and stamp map that i'm sure many of you out there in the in youtube land either have or have heard of which is uh, a map that i invented for inside of the misty so that i can stamp a big background and my paper is adhered into the inside and i don't have to use any magnets so oh, nice. it makes it so easy Mm -hmm. And that was the only thing I didn't like about having uh, uh, using one of the stamp positioners was that I couldn't do big backgrounds because uh, they would always get in the way. The the, gotcha. um, the magnets always got in the way. Gotcha. And then these this this stamp set also has flowers in it. So once I stamp it, you'll be able to see it. And luckily, here at Brutus Renault, we have these flower brads. So I'm just going to disguise one of these flowers here with this flower. So it will look like it's a part of the card, <laughs> and that will disguise the little wheel. Fun. Do you have a lot of brads? We sell so many brads. We have brads. Oh, yeah, we carry the uh, eyelet outlet. We carry all of their different brads. But I'm also obsessed with shaker elements. I don't know if mm -hmm. anyone else love shaker elements as much as i do but buttons galore has so many incredible shaker elements and we carry all of those nice nice oh shakers are fun i don't make a lot of them but they are fun then they're so yeah. remarkably easy they really are i have found now that you know there's a lot of companies that have come out with with different things that make your life much easier when you're doing oh, yeah. shaker cards, uh, like the right. infinity shakers that, you know, go around the whole entire outside, things like that. I mean, back in the day when I first started making shaker cards, you had to have an engineering degree. I mean, you had to cut Absolutely. 63 pieces of foam, you had to put them together, then you had to make sure that you dusted it. And then you had, it was, it was a lot. So I, um, I like the, the easy shakers. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're doing way. some ink blending. Yeah, and I'm wondering why, but that's okay. I like it. No, I mean, uh, I think it, I you can't it ink blend too much. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit crazy on this thing. So, so here's okay. what the image looks like so far. And then to take it off, All you right. just fold your mat and it peels right off. 
All right, and Good I'm deal. just going to stamp out all of my images while I'm while I'm at it because that just really why not get them all out of the way? Right, right, now. right. If you're just joining us, this is Craft Roulette, and we are here tonight with Christopher Allen, the the brilliant mind behind Brutus Monroe, and we are doing some crafting improvisation. We didn't know until about. 10 minutes ago what we were going to do and so we are going to do a job some kind of project with a small bag a rainbow colors wheel and some shimmer so we're off to the races here yes christopher has a very very cool card planned i have a i'm not sure card plan but we're gonna keep doing it Yours will be beautiful. It'll be, it'll be me. <laughs> mine's a little too. Mine's a. Mine will hopefully be a, the technical marvel that I have in my mind, but we will <laughs> yeah. see how. Yeah. We will see how it all works out at the end. <laughs> you know, you got the vision. You're probably going to be just fine. That's what I'm thinking. We will see. I've, I've not thinking. done a wheel card like this in a while, but as soon as you said wheel, that's immediately uh -huh. what popped into my mind. You know, I have a wheel die. Do you want to borrow it? Uh, yes. How quickly can you can you get it here by <laughs> owl? How how yeah. <laughs> however however you can get it here. Yeah. Owl post is expensive, but we'll we'll do it. I appreciate. <laughs> we'll splurge. <laughs> Alphaba or the Wicked Witch. It's gonna be like a giant wheel car truck. Monster truck. So, are any of your people that are, your support team going to create with us this week? Um. Oh yes, I've I've actually tasked my entire team uh, <laughs> to create a card with cool. uh, even the team that does not create normally <laughs> will hopefully oh. uh, be making a card, and uh, I'm excited to see what they make. Me too. And everyone I mean, is everyone. invited. Yeah, everyone's invited to play along and submit on our website, and you can be a part of next week's gallery <laughs> and uh, be eligible for the giveaway next week. It's not oh, a bad awesome. deal. Oh, no, not at all. I will. I will tell you. Warn you. Fair warning. A lot of people think this is addictive. So it's certainly fun. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I know it may be a little addictive. I have been here a hundred and some weeks. Well, yeah, to stick around, <laughs> just keep doing it. Yeah. Like, what would you do on Friday night? I don't know. Okay, I think that's going to be the The rainbow move. This is purple. This is team purple, you guys. I'm giving you a little bone there. Throwing you a bone. Okay. All right. So to make this an A2 size card, there's my A2 base. I'm off screen. Okay. We'll just fix that up. I thought, yeah. We good. I'll just put the glue right here. You can tell Christopher is concentrating right now. <laughs> yes, I'm not going to ask him any questions I'm trying, yet. I'm just trying to figure out the best way for me to utilize this circle. And I think I may have, I think I might have figured it out. Feels good. Yes. Now I just have to find my acetate. <laughs> oh as boy. Soon as I, Look in I bin five. I'm sure, I'm sure I was gonna say I think it's in bin one because that would have been what we would have had for clear <laughs> or Start transparent, I believe was one of the options. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's in well, I just have to oh, let me get over to the card catalog real quick and uh I will that, I'll find it. Oh here it is. So is it cross reference too? Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's it's we have a Holy full smokes. Dewey Decimal system here. Good heavens! Oh, 
always tell people you can't prepare, but you've just blown me out of the water. You can. <laughs> well, I wanted to be as prepared as possible because, again, with, with so many different options and so many different variables, I just wanted to make sure that I had some sort of an idea of mm -hmm. what we were going to use. Now, did I think that my team was going to prepare as if we were, you know, going on a cross-country adventure? No, but they did. <laughs> and I, and I, and I could not be happier about that. Well, you've done cruises and things, right? Is this true? Uh, I've not done a cruise yet, but I, I do do oh. a lot of, uh, like, different traveling things I have, yes. Okay, all right. No no cruises yet. Okay, I thought I had seen I'm not that, opposed, I'm... though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look into well, that. I, Chris, Christopher, I, we're getting questions about how many people you have on your team. Uh, we have a uh, total in-house. We have 11 people in-house. And then uh, I believe we have 20 from 16 from home and then two additional. Oops. Pretty from home. So I, give or take. Uh, if I forgot we, anybody, I apologize. We <laughs> That's why a, I'm not saying any names. We had a little <laughs> internet droppage. If you want to just repeat that real fast, it kind of cut out. Oh yeah. So so in house we have uh, we have 11 people in house, and then uh, on our uh, inspiration team we have uh, 16, and then we have two no four that work from home. So roughly about 34 to 36 people at any given time, uh, working Man. very hard for, at Brutus Monroe. And your mom works with you. She does. She is so our, cool. yeah, she's our director of employee wellness. So her title, she uh, basically takes care of everybody. She's the work mama. So she helps <laughs> with, well, she does all of the payroll and she, she makes lunch cool. for everybody every Monday. What? So she, she really takes care of us. Wow. Okay. So I'm just going to cut out this portion here because there is not makes a job lunch. for this. That's amazing. He does. Broadcaster, now you guys have a Um, let's see. I don't know if that will make it too dark. I'm not sure who I'm going to have drive this truck yet. I mean, maybe nobody. Maybe that chipmunk. That's much better. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Or, or maybe roulette. Free, free, free. Okay. It is so nice to have everything right where you need it. Now, do you have with all those people? I would, I would think one of the biggest. <laughs> this is not a big drawback, but I would think people taking things to another station to work on it could, and then not putting it back. At least that's how it is at my house. <laughs> could be yes. like, oh my gosh, why don't you put it away? <laughs> well, I can tell you, and my entire team will tell you as well that I am the worst at that <laughs> so oh, okay. i i am the biggest uh proponent of grabbing things because i will take things to my office to uh -huh. work on them pretty often yeah. and then uh they generally most of the staff will come into my office and will say christopher do you know mm -hmm. where this mock-up went or christopher <laughs> do you know where this went and i'm like oh yes it was here just a minute ago mm, yeah i have no yeah. idea where it is now but it was Yikes. it was in fact here <laughs> so okay so you can't really say too much no 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 i'm the i'm the worst at that i cannot i cannot get upset with any of my staff for for moving things or shifting things because i am the number one mover and shifter you've taught them how yes yes it's, it's it was me <laughs> you're the brains behind the brain it was me the whole time Okay, so just for some whimsy here, like this is such a serious piece after all. I'm putting purses on the wheels. Perfect. <laughs> Why not? Right? It can hurt. Oh. It's a purse truck after all. 
Get your purses right here. It's got a wrap. And the whole wrap is about purses, rainbow purses. Okay, so I am going to grab my dies for my witches. Because coordinating dies are one of, the, really well. one of the greatest inventions. <laughs> they are great. It might have been dubbed the Bagmobile. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it's the Bagmobile. <laughs> <laughs> na, 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 We had a long-standing problem with... I had purse card as a project, and it okay. was much maligned. Nobody wanted the purse <laughs> card. It was like, no purse card, no purse card. <laughs> and um, But we had it. It was a great week. It's a great gallery. And um, so this is just part of homage to the purse card. I love it. Or you need a mode of transportation for your purse card. Sell your purses. Yeah. So why not a why not a purse vehicle? A purse mobile. Maybe I should do little purses, or did it's just going to have pretty little flowers. <laughs> Pretty little flowers all along this side. This may be one of the weirdest things I've ever made, and I may love it. <laughs> I may just love it. Weird is good, though. It's not bad. No. no. I have no problem with it. Oh, there's the original cart, the little flower that I thought, oh, this is, this is what I should use. Why not? I've got a few more I can put on the back too. We will have it covered it, because it has a wrap. I saw a guy on the street today and he had a car and he was advertising wrapping trucks. So it's hey. in my brain to have a wrapped car right now. There you go. And I, while I was sitting there at the stoplight watching, the, looking at this truck, I was thinking, I wonder if we could have a wrapped car in my little Toyota Corolla. That's a salvage job. If it could be wrapped with craft roulette. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Just, would we do the wood version, the, the neutrals, or would we do rainbow version? Probably rainbow. Anyway. Well, are you able to answer some questions from patrons? Because oh, I would have, love that. We have the most questioning group of people. I love it. And they they just have they have good minds, all of them, and they're very creative and very clever and wonderful. And Jay Thomas, who has two first names, but it's his last name and his first name. He would like to know. He's kind of new to card making. He's a really nice guy, very dedicated to card making. He works hard on making videos and things. Um, awesome. And yeah, and he is just kind of finding his niche, niche, niche. And um, he asked, "How did you? How do you get income from this <laughs> this thing called card making and crafts?" Well, and I can tell also, you, you don't at the beginning. <laughs> there you go. Right. Right. Yeah, you, it's a you lot certainly of, don't. You have to have a lot of variety, right? Of Yes. Yeah, of things going on. Well, and I think it, it depends seems. on what type of income you're looking to make. So if you are looking for this to be a career, then, you know, you, you have the, the ability to become, you know, someone that, that creates cards on YouTube or some other social media. Uh, a great place to start is on a design team. I would say, you know, apply apply for a design team and, you know, kind of get your, your foot in the door and, and mm -hmm. just feel, you really just want to figure out what exactly does making money and card making mean to you. And mm -hmm. uh, for me, it was, I, I, I started on design teams, but I really wanted my own company, but I didn't know how that was going to happen. And I didn't think it was going to happen, but everyone that I taught a class to using other people's products said, it's time you need to have your own company. And again, I hmm. didn't know what that meant. So I, I figured mm -hmm. it out and 
It wasn't easy because I, I literally called every single business that said that they made ink pads and made stamps. And actually, May May, who is a very dear friend of mine from May May Made It, she uh -huh. was the one that May May did me it. To, May May did it. May May flew it. May May kicked it. Whatever, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna call it. But she actually helped me a lot at the at the beginning and helped That's me cool. figure out what my stamp manufacturer and who my stamp manufacturer, excuse me, would be. And I just met her in real life for the first time a couple of years ago, and it was wonderful. She is everything that she is <laughs> on the screen plus more. So it was it was wonderful to have the opportunity to meet her. Ah. Uh having a mentor i would think is a good idea oh yes absolutely yeah because there are you could spend a lot of time kind of spinning your wheels and not getting very far absolutely yeah. yes spinning your wheels huh on the on the on a purse car that's what i do every week at friday <laughs> at about 6 30. on a purse car wheels. yes that's right <laughs> Well, that's a good question, and he, I, I hope Jay can figure. I, it's a great, it's a great fun community. I think that's part of the allure, is um, Absolutely. just the, it's a nice, friendly, upbeat, encouraging group of people, and and so to be able to work with that, because not all workplaces are really fun. Oh <laughs> no, 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 they're, no. Just, they're yeah. just not. But, not at all. Yeah, it can be downright dreary. We do have a very fun industry, though, that's for sure. Lots of very mm -hmm. kind people, and it's it's wonderful. <laughs> that make funny cards. Yes. <laughs> well, that's the best part. <laughs> and Sarah Treadle would like to know, how. so how did you get started? And how did you know this was your passion? Oh, wow. So kind of an interesting story. My nephew, um, he was... He was getting ready to be born, I guess would be the best way to explain it. And he, we need, we need a baby shower invitations. And I have always been crafty pretty much my entire life. And I had an aunt that was very crafty and she had a craft room, which I always envied because I was like, mm -hmm. you can have a whole room devoted to crafts. What is happening here? So it was, it was something that I wanted to take on. And I told my sister-in-law that I was going to make these cards and I went to a lot of the big box retailers and I was looking for stamps and I was looking for inks and I was looking for anything that I could find. And I was watching a lot of the, the popular YouTubers at the time. And, mm -hmm. I, and I was like, oh, I'm going to emboss. That looks incredible. And I bought an embossing powder from a big box store that was their brand. And it was the worst embossing powder I ever used. And mm -hmm. I said, there's got to be something better. Because when I first started the industry almost 10 years ago, a lot of the companies that we know now didn't exist. So I right. was, there weren't a lot of choices. There wasn't a lot of online places that you could get this stuff from. So I set out to figure out how I could make things better and how I could really make things for myself that hopefully other people would enjoy as well. And mm -hmm. luckily I found a lot of really great people in the industry to work with and a lot of really great manufacturers. And it took a while. I mean, like I said, 10 years, I've been in the industry. It'll be 10 years in 2024 so well, it will be december of 2024 oh, okay. it'll be it'll be 10 years and it was not easy in the beginning i mean we really did not catch our our real momentum until i'd say probably late 2020 early 2021 and it was a lot of a lot of hard work and perseverance but mm -hmm. it's so rewarding now and it's so much fun and mm -hmm. i would not trade my career for the world yeah yeah and you never work harder than when you work for yourself. Correct. I never stop right. working, but I don't, so right. most of the time I don't feel like I'm working though. That's the weird thing. It's, it's, it's strange. It's a strange kind of, kind of give and take. It's some days I feel like I've never worked harder in my life and other days I'm like, how is this my job? So it's, mm -hmm. it's a weird kind of spin on mm -hmm. things, but I, I am very fortunate to, to be able to come to work at Brutus Renner every single day. And I have, like I've said before, the a dream team. And I just absolutely love hanging out with them. And I, I don't feel like I, you know, they're my employees, they're my peers and they're my friends and they're my family. And I really, really, really love my job. <laughs> and you let your people bring dogs to work. We do. Everyone can bring yeah. their dogs to work every day <laughs> if they want. And that's kind of a little bit selfish on my part too, because <laughs> I love hanging out with dogs. You will find 
very often on the Brutus Monroe Instagram that I am laying down with a dog or hanging out with the dog somewhere in the building. So I, <laughs> I steal all the dogs when they come in and I hang out with them. And it's a, it's a, a self-serving uh, perk for the employees that they could bring their dogs in for me to play with. <laughs> well, that's all right. Doggies are the yep. best. Oh, we that's love one thing here. about working at home. You get to be with your pups all the time. Oh, yes. I love it. It's wonderful. I love it. And my poor Boomer, he was shaking his head a bunch. And I thought, that's oh, not, no. he has, I, that's not right. He's not right. And so I took him to yeah. the vet and he's got an ear infection. I feel so like the bad oh, no. mom. But we're getting him fixed. And so, yeah, my My little mini Monroe had an ear infection. Just awful. And it was the worst. Yeah. Because you don't know. They can't tell you, you know, what's, no. what's going on. No, I wasn't sure. And, you know, I just... It just didn't seem right how he how often he was shaking his head. My little yeah. buddy. He was so good at the vet. He's so good. He did. <laughs> he did. Poor Dr. Nancy. He loves her so much. He just, when she came in and she <laughs> went down to pet him, he went on his back and he had a little, was too excited. And we think yep. maybe it got a little in her. She may have had a little too much closeness with Boomer, but. Yes. <laughs> that was, that's part of being a vet, I think. Oh, yeah. He was very good natured about it. Wow, that's some shimmer on there. Now, this is the craziest card, and I happen to love it. <laughs> keep going. I'm going to keep working on it. I got to get some headlines. Because <laughs> you can't drive this at night right now. It's not street legal. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Cat Errant, patron Cat Errant, would like to know what is your favorite? Oh, this is like asking what's your favorite child? What is your uh -oh. favorite Brutus Monroe product? Oh, that is a really good one. So I would say probably my absolute favorite product. Well, it, I would say I have difference in different ones in different categories, but my favorite product of all time is going to be our stamp set that's called Share and Script. Because uh, it is a sentiment set that is that it was created based upon my mom's handwriting. So oh. my mom, who is here with me every single day, and I, you know, didn't get to spend a lot of time with her back in the day when I first started Brutus and Row because she obviously had her job and she couldn't be here, you know, all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. It was it was wonderful to be able to have a card that that had her, or excuse me, a stamp that had her handwriting on it because then uh, she was kind of always around. So. That's probably my favorite uh, favorite product that we have uh, that I that I reach for often, and it's oh. still here. It's one of the very first, very very first things that I ever designed, and we still carry it to this day. Really sweet. Okay. All right. So we're. I'm about. I must meet this woman. Down. This woman you call mom. Yes, you have she to, sounds you have to fabulous. Come visit us. Yes, you have to come. He sounds great. So, Christopher, I have an idea that I want to propose, and I've never done this. I've never proposed an idea like this, but you said you were okay. going to send my mom some stuff, and I was yes. thinking, if we sent you a couple of our stamp sets, would you be willing to maybe hand them out to a couple people that might come into your shop and say, hey, you I would love those that. craft roulette stamp sets left? I would love that. I would okay. love After that. All, I would be honored, you have actually. been on. You have been on the roulette, whichever roulette it is. We'll send you a, a cool. package of a couple of them, and then you know, watchers. Awesome. In a week or two, you can maybe visit the shop and ask if they have some. I would love that. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah, we see a lot of folks in in Pittsburgh that come and visit us, so it would be great because we're one of the only retail stores left. There's not really right. a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of us left, and I think that. We uh, we have been able to to hang on as long as we have, mostly because we have our own brand, and it's really mm -hmm. hard for you know the the smaller shops that don't have their own brand that are carrying everyone else's brands, and they're they're obviously competing with everyone else that's out there. So it's it's a little tough for them. So please support small, please, please, please. Yes, I yeah. always say that support small as much as you possibly can, and. Uh, most small retailers will have the product you're looking for at some point. It's just a little more difficult for them 
uh, to get it, obviously, because mm -hmm. let's face it, they're not going to get <laughs> they're not going to get things at the same time as the the big retailers would. Oh, OK. Yeah. Good point. Oh, it's going to work. I'm so excited. <laughs> so oh, as you can see what I've done so far, I guess I should explain what I'm doing. I, I'm trying to chatting. So all I did was I took the stamp and I stamped it. And then uh -huh. what I did was I cut out the top portion. So the way that the stamp is is was designed and illustrated by our very, very talented illustrator, Chuck Parson. Uh, he actually Disney. retired from Disney before he came oh, and nice. started doing stuff for us. So if you have any of the old Disney maps, he probably drew it. So this, uh, you can see normally it's supposed to all be one piece. And I, I'm a terrible Vanna White. Uh, there you go. It's supposed to be one piece normally. But what I did was I cut out the top portion because my intent is going to be for us to be able to switch between the Wicked Witch, which obviously is right here, and Glinda. So you'll be able to turn this and it will either be the Wicked Witch or Glinda that will be showing up here at the top. <laughs> if all goes to plan. But we're, we're, we're about three quarters of the way there. So We'll see if it. That's that's pretty darn good. I think you I don't got know if, it. I do. I think I, you're gonna make it. I don't know it. if this is the most ambitious card <laughs> ever attempted, uh, or if it's if I'm just if I'm just cuckoo. But I I really thought that this would work. So I fingers think you crossed. Had a, I think you had enough vision that it's gonna work. Okay. We'll we'll cross our fingers. So I'm just using a little bit of pixie tape to hold this down while I position this underneath. If you've never used pixie tape before, it's something from Thermoweb. Uh, Decofoil Thermoweb, whichever whichever you want to call it, and it is magnificent. This is my favorite repositionable tape by far that is on the market. It's it's really really great. I think there's a couple of different versions of it out there now. Well, I got a cool package in the mail this week. What did you get? I got. Let me show you. Speaking of repositionable, I got the world's best foam tape from Paraglass I've heard Press. about that. I, I haven't even opened that. it. <laughs> I can't wait to hear to see it. It's repositionable. I know. That's what I heard. So. And I need to get my hands on some. I actually have an order, I think, coming soon from Amanda because uh, we carry her lights. So oh, I good. Was, Mm. The best. I have a feeling, yeah, because we just launched, I should, probably shouldn't talk about it because they sold out really, really, really quick, but we just launched stained glass, faux stained glass uh, acetate sheets. And I was like, hmm, we need to get some of those lights in so that we can, yes. so that we will be able to light up that stained glass. Okay, so what I would like you to develop, to, to develop, ba -ba -ba -dip -ba -dip, okay. um, for those lights is some neon light, some neon signs. Oh, or yes, yes, yes. Sentiments. I think that would be so cool. Cause she's also had, I mean, she's got the one lights, but she also has twinkle lights now. So. Oh, well, she, she has like those, doesn't she have like, they're like a circle? I can't remember what exactly Halo. they're called. Mm -hmm. Yep. Halo lights. Halo, Halo, that's it. Mm hmm. So those would be good with like a neon signs too oh yes 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 okay so all i did was i put this down and i used some repositionable adhesive we also have this uh i can't i don't know if it's it's even has a brand name it's it's very very inexpensive but i use this a lot when i'm positioning things and then what i'll do is i'll use a little bit of glue underneath because you can still lift it up but it holds it down enough that it will keep everything where it needs to be and now you should be able to see how the mechanism is going to work and how we're going to be able to switch from the Wicked Witch to Glinda. That's pretty cool. That's so now pretty I'll, cool. Just, I'll just color my Wicked Witch and my Glinda real quick, and before before you have to before you do any, you're going to have to do triple body work in the time that I'm that I'm taking to do this. You're going to have you're well, going to have I'm new gonna, rims. And <laughs> I'm going to put a robot behind my wheel here. Oh, that's an excellent idea. Yeah, we've got a character that we call Roulette. <laughs> it may not oh, be the yes. most creative name for our character, but it's our it's what it is. Okay, so I'll draw him on here. Where'd my pencil go? Did I drop it? And I'm not going to color these all the way up because, as you can imagine, you're not going to be able to oh, well. see. 
all of the character because we're going to have to unfortunately do an amputation because mm-hmm. we're only going to be able to see this much or else the wheel the dynamics of it is the wheel would be backwards so oh i'm not in screen oh my goodness i keep forgetting that i have to be centered <laughs> so this would be so if i if i place this too high on the wheel whenever you turn it you're going to be you'll obviously know very quickly that the next one is coming so they'll be on opposite sides of one another it'll all make sense i promise in the end (laughs) it's gonna be fine birthday girl Allie cope would like to know what's the one thing you think is lacking in the craft industry oh my goodness Mm, that's mm, loaded mm, mm. i would say probably at this point right now i think that we were kind of at a plateau of innovation uh, there's a lot of things that are that are coming out that are very similar to other things, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. I mean, there's a lot of uh, different products. Like we we all have a die cutting machine, but there's 53 different versions of it. Uh, we mm-hmm. all have you know a stamp positioner, but there's 10 different versions of it. So I, I really am excited to see the new innovations that we'll see coming uh, in our industry because that's what really the fun thing is. I can't wait to see what a company has up their sleeves and what a company is creating. And I think the, the innovation is what I miss. And I know it's really hard right now to be innovative because everything with supply chains and it's, it's Mm -hmm. difficult. Believe me, I know, I know firsthand because I own a company (laughs) that, that doesn't, but it's innovation is something that I'm excited to see. And that's, that's the only thing that I'm kind of seeing lacking right now. There's not a whole lot of things that, that are changing, but I know that we have things coming because generally the second part of the year in the industry, at least from what I've I've experienced, is is really when when things pop up and get exciting. Oh, that's a that's kind of a fun insight. I hadn't really thought about the cycle there, but yep, that makes sense. Yes. It's like September to me is the beginning of craft season. <laughs> yes. Holiday Just, and fall is uh-huh. always the best. Right. Like you'd line up at the start gate and and release the hounds. <laughs> da, 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 yes, da, 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 it's da, very da, true. Da, da. Very true. Yeah, that's a good one. That you're that's those are true points. Everybody's got a lot of the same, but we'll see. We'll see. It's fun. Um, maybe they'll have neon lights. That's my hope. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to call this man and say, "What can we do? Maybe it can be a uh, a Brutus Monroe and Pear Blossom collab. Maybe we can Could do that." Be. She's a good woman to work with. I'll tell you that. That's how we found you. Yes, so. I was. I was very, very, very excited whenever she sent me the message. And she was like, "Have you heard of?" And it was so crazy because I had just watched an episode, literally really? days before, <laughs> and it was it was mm-hmm. it was the craziest thing. I think I was watching. Uh, I want to say. I can't remember whose I was watching. Maybe Gina's. I don't know if it was Gina's, but uh-huh. I was watching somebody's episode and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. But I don't like to, I, I don't like to invite myself to dinner. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not going to say anything because it'll be weird if I'm like, hey, I'd be a great guest. So <laughs> I, uh, I I waited very patiently and I didn't have to wait long. I mean, literally, I think it was like maybe a week uh, that went by and she said, "Hey, have you heard of this?" I said, "Have I heard of it?" I said, "I have been up. I've watched seventy three episodes in in a couple of days." I was like, oh I, "I'm in love with it. How do I? How do I become a part of it?" She goes, "I will. I will send everything over." So I was very excited to have the opportunity. <laughs> well, we do have a heck of a lot of fun here. I will admit it. Oh yes, and it's fun to have nice people on like you. So it oh, makes well, it all. Oh, there's my pencil. I was looking for a yellow pencil, but it's green. That's why I couldn't find it. Have well, you all made it so easy. I mean, so simple. Everything is, like I said to you all before, and I don't think that that everyone at the, the home audience knows this, but they are the most organized team that I have <laughs> ever worked with in this industry. And I have worked with a lot of teams in this industry, and I was just absolutely elated to see how it was just everything was. I just had to really just show up. And it was wonderful. It was it was great. Yay. There wasn't a whole lot of a whole lot of madness behind the scenes, and that's generally what it is. It's like constant, constant worry and prep and worry and prep. And I, I did not experience any of that. And I just I I I really really 
clap and, and applaud both of you because you work so well as a team. And it's just such a cool thing. I mean, this doesn't exist. This is just, well, I mean, it does because it's we're here, but it, it didn't exist. And to have a crafty game show, I mean, holy <laughs> cow. I mean, I can tell you 11-year-old Christopher Allen would have, been, I would have never left my room. I would have just watched this show every <laughs> single day. And I, I, cause that's, I was obsessed with Carol Duvall. If, if everybody remembers. Oh, I loved Carol, Carol Duvall. Duvall. And I watched her religiously. And that's actually how I was introduced to Tim Holtz because yeah. I was in he middle school. He was such school. a baby when he was on. <laughs> yeah, I was in, I was in middle school. And I remember, cause she used to always at the end of her show, she would say, all right. And this is who I have coming up next week. And, and, a and, a a man popped up and I was like, wait a second, there's going to be a yeah. guy on Carol <laughs> Duvall. And I I've never run so fast off of a school bus in my life because I needed to see him on, on Carol Duvall. And now I've had the opportunity to chat with him and it's, it's just a full, full circle moment. And it's, it's great okay. to, you know, meet one of your idols and they are actually exactly who you thought they would be. So it was, it was an incredible, incredible experience. Well, you know, you and Tim, I can call him Tim, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the Tim. We'll just say the Tim. The um, Tim, yes. <laughs> that's more respectful. And um, But you and the Tim are both kind of like Carol Duvall in men form in that she did remarkable things for bringing crafts to the world. And you oh, have yes. done remarkable things being the dude side of crafts to the world. And so it's, and it's yes, and it's no. very rare. There's not a whole lot of us, so it's no. it's great to to be a part of that uh, part of that community. I really, 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 really love being a part of it, and I, I get to hang out with all of the the guy crafters. And there, there's it's like it's so cool because we have so so different views on things and how things are made and created and cards are made. So it's, it's so mm -hmm. cool to see the, the different dynamic of a male crafter, you know, and a female crafter. We just, we just make things differently. So it's, it's, I think it's fun to see all of that uh, pan out. That's it is. For sure. It is. It is. But she, her early, I saw some early interviews with her and just talking about how she was brought crafts to PBS and how yes. innovative she was. And oh, yes. um, so anyway, she was like, I used to, we homeschooled and we never started school until the show was over because <laughs> it was fantastic. on in the morning and uh, especially incredible. the Christmas shows. Oh, oh yes. Every oh, year because they were great. longer. So they yeah. were longer than the normal shows. And it was always so exciting because the thing that I loved about Carol Duvall of, of many things is that she brought every type of crafter on. So it was mm -hmm. never right. just card making or, I mean, she had people that were doing decoupage and she had people that were doing uh, woodworking. And it was always so cool every week because I really loved Mr. Rogers, which I'm sure everyone has a, a wonderful affirmation mm -hmm. for Mr. Rogers. And mm -hmm. luckily he, uh, his whole production studio and everything that he filmed was literally less than 20 minutes from our studio. So you'll have to, uh, I will be making an announcement pretty soon here about, a really cool Mr. Rogers collection coming from Brutus Monroe, but you didn't hear it from me. So it'll, we're, we're still a couple of months out from it, but I think you will all love that Mr. Rogers collection. But I loved his show because every time he did like the crafty things, it wasn't the same thing. Like he would go visit uh -huh. a factory and it wasn't just a paint oh, factory. Yeah. It was a shoe factory. So she definitely kept us interested in, you know, what, what, what she had to offer. And I, I loved it. Mm-hmm. Yep, she was a gem. And then I believe Eileen had a show too, right? I think Eileen, the the glue, the glue lady. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so, I hope that's not disrespectful, but I, I know her as the glue lady because she had really great glue. So I think she had a show as well. Then I think I her don't... daughters took over, maybe. I don't I know that remember. one. Uh huh. Heather is shaking her head from across the room, so I'm thinking that she did. She okay. Did have All right. I don't think I knew that one. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to stamp oh, my sentiment. And it's so funny. I literally just thought that the camera somehow flipped and it was just the stick and stamp mouth that was flipped over. So <laughs> I think the, the alcohol marker fumes are getting to me. Uh oh. Oh, dear. Open God, the like, door. <laughs> yeah, open gonna, the door and let the chipmunks in, though. That's bad. Oh, no, no, no. We do not want to, don't want to let them in. No, I Although they're, they're nice. Room. 
Yeah, oh, they're chipmunk. nice to have. Yeah, they're nice to have out of your room though. Yeah. So Unless we have acoustic so tiles. We have acoustic tiles oh, all over the room, okay. and we had one in the in the studio here a couple of weeks ago. I kept hearing it. And I kept thinking, it's, it's here. I just know it. And the darn thing was chewing up my acoustic tiles. And oh my, probably getting stuff to make a nest, maybe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Just. Making himself right at home, or yeah, some little craft oh, studio a little, to do go. some lives. I mean, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore—they, I mean, <laughs> they, right. I've, I've I've seen them do some pretty rocking uh, music videos and stuff. I I feel like they probably need some acoustic <laughs> tiles themselves. <laughs> they probably—that's probably who it was. <laughs> was he wearing a red top a blue top or a green top because that's how we'll be able to uh, he was wearing to a decipher. terrified top when we found oh, him Poor when you found thing. him yeah like what is so going karen, on I was on <laughs> oh he was yeah I, I was so happy there karen yeah. creates cards ass how's the devil's tricycle going oh my oh. goodness gracious Someone, that's that's someone that has has watched my my live. The Devil's Tricycle mm -hmm. is great. Uh, that is what I call my Peloton. Uh, mm -hmm. So that anytime that I uh, when I went in not that long ago to buy new shoes, they were so elated because they always think that they're going to sell me the bike, and they were like, "Oh my goodness, we're so, we want to show you about the opportunities and financing." I said, "Oh no, no, no! I've already got a Devil's Tricycle. I just need to come in and get shoes." And the people at Peloton don't really enjoy when you call it the Devil's Tricycle, but that's literally what it is. I mean, it's been a great workout and a fantastic way to get fit, get fit and in shape. But anyone out there that owns a Peloton will know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh man, I I stood on one in a hotel once. Oh, it is. Or it's, no, it was a, thing, it was like a treadmill, and I thought, well, that was my experience right there. That's yeah. enough. Well, they, yeah, they, their treadmill's called the tread, but. The, uh, the Peloton, they, it has a big screen that you're in front of, and mm -hmm. it feels like you're there. So you feel like you can't, like, take a break or take a breath, because if you do, then you will. <laughs> you're like, they're watching me. <laughs> they're here. They're going to, they're going to, oh they're going to know that I, I took a break. A lot of pressure. Oh, it is. But it's fun. I mean, I, I love it. I have a, a very good friend, Stacy, that, that she... She really keeps me going and I, you know, I take lots of breaks on it because I am super, super busy all the time. But she's like, Christopher, because the thing is, it keeps you accountable, too, because your friends can see if you oh, work out. So that's, she's like, that's what horrible. are you doing? Get on the bike. Get it together. <laughs> What's going on? That's that wasn't a cheap piece of equipment. No, they're not. They're not. Well, Karen, I, was very I hope that's a good re report for you to know what's going on. <laughs> it's still the same. Still, no, no, no changes in the report. <laughs> I think you're going to have a good answer for this question. Norma okay. Medina asks, "What's your biggest challenge when designing masculine stamps and cards?" Oh my goodness, that's a, that is an excellent, excellent question. My my biggest challenge is. The so when you're designing a stamp, at least in my opinion, you have to design a stamp that the recipient will love, but also that the user will love. So the biggest the biggest challenge is there are a lot of folks in my experience that will purchase a stamp because they want it. They love it. It's something that they want to have and they want to see in their stash. But the problem with that is not always are the people that are purchasing these going to want it to be a masculine looking stamp. So at Brutus mm -hmm. Monroe, we really work hard to, to kind of meet that in the middle because that's really why our name, uh, our namesake has become what it is because we are Brutus Monroe. So we're, we're really the mesh in between masculine and feminine. And it's become a little bit easier now because there's not really a hard line between masculine mm -hmm. and, and feminine when it comes to card right. making, at least there's you know, a lot of a lot of masculine cards that that now have florals on them and, and so on and so forth. But the biggest challenge I would say is creating and designing a stamp that not only the recipient will love the stamped image, but also uh, the person that's purchasing it. Because there's a lot of folks, and I know there's some of you probably watching, that buy a stamp and we should sell it with a nail so you can hang it on the wall. You never want to use it. You just want you just want to look at it. You want to frame it. You don't want to put ink on it. It makes you a nervous wreck if it's going to get stained. And that's okay. I'm the same way. I have a couple of everything we've ever released, and I've kept it in pristine condition because I want to look at it. But 
it's it's tough because you got to get those stamps out of the packaging and you really really need to use them yeah yeah that's yeah i knew you'd have a great answer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just yeah. how I just that's that's the biggest struggle for me is trying to to get uh to get both both points together. I, I thought I had a Brutus Monroe gift card around here somewhere that I don't know where I put it. I think look at that card. Look point. how you did. Look what you okay. did. So here Go we heavens. here we are so far. I'm just gonna add a little bit of shimmer, but now what can happen is you just turn it, and when you turn it, the the witch, whoops, I have to make sure she goes underneath of here. But when you turn it, I, I didn't put the relatives on it, but when you turn it, the Linda <laughs> will now show up instead of the Wicked Witch. And you can turn it back, or you can turn it whichever way you would like. And there is the Wicked Witch instead. And then it says here, it's not where you go, it's who you meet along the way. So depending <laughs> on how you turn the wheel, you would either meet the Wicked Witch, or you would be meeting uh, Glinda. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to add a little bit of shimmer and I'm going to put my little gift card, uh, gift card piece inside of here. And then I would In say, I think uh -huh. we, I think we covered them all. <laughs> I think you did it. I do. I think you did a beautiful job. I do. Good heavens. Good heavens. Well, I'm going to check off and make sure I did all the things that I'm supposed to do. So deputy Heidi won't come <laughs> get me. Oh my goodness, and so, okay. Deputy. Yes. Yes. She has a badge. She's the real oh, deal. Wow. Small bag. We've got little purse bags on the wheel because this is the purse mobile or the bag mobile. If you want to be more Batman-y. Uh, rainbow. I have rainbow colors and I also added a rainbow-ish, even though it's kind of hidden now. But I use rainbow colors. Very, I think so. It's fine. Wheel. Yeah. I put some craft roulette wheels on this little vehicle and it is an A2 size card. And some shimmer. I had headlights, and I've got bling, and I've got silver pen, and I'll probably splash some little shiny stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do on the back of his head. May, we'll figure it out. Anyway, and there's roulette driving the little purse mobile, bag mobile. Perfect. Off into the sunset. <laughs> I love it. So I'm just going to grab my, my Brutus Order of gift card so that I can make sure that this. Uh, will fit inside of here perfectly and i go. couldn't do that again if you paid me i don't know how i folded that exactly where it was <laughs> supposed to be but i will take it well done and kind i'm of just gonna fold over muscle memory i think so and yeah and the best yeah. part of this little bag is we have these because we have an old-fashioned popcorn machine up in brutus monroe and when we we do in the summertime we have a really cool thing that we do where we do a, a crop where they can uh, watch movies and uh, have a table and we do popcorn and we watch all sorts of like really cool, some of the classics like steel magnolias and things like that. And mm -hmm. uh, these are the bags that we use to serve the popcorn in. Oh, fun. <laughs> so fun. this is, this is, this was just perfect that, I mean, when it said, as soon as you said rainbow and bag, mm -hmm. I said, oh, I, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I, I instantly thought. It was um, a layup. Yes, instantly thought. So I'm just going to put my little gift card right inside of there for the recipients so they know that they can use that here at Brutus Row or wherever they would like. And then, of course, I added, I don't, hopefully you can see. So I used, oh, yeah, you can see it. So oh, yeah. I used the Pearl Shimmer Mist. The great thing about our Shimmer Mists is they are not as concentrated as our Aqua Pigments. So what you can do is you can take a little bit, you just pull this off and dab a little bit on an acrylic block and you can paint it with a paintbrush or you can oh, mist nice. it and spray it however however you would like. So uh, should I cover all of my bases or did I already do that? <laughs> I think you did it. I saw, we saw your okay. small bag. You definitely have Perfect. rainbow colors. Uh, you have a, the coolest wheel ever and you just explained the shimmer. So you're good to go. Deputy awesome. Heidi, you can put your badge away and put your feet up and relax. You don't have to come get us. <laughs> Stand down. <laughs> That's right. Oh, and I, Deputy and the, and Heidi the brad is oh, also yeah, is. Uh, matches the matches the other flowers that are on the card, so you really can't tell that that's there. Smart. My goodness. My gracious. You did it. You did it. I've got one more question for you, and then we have the thoughtful question of the day, and then we'll get get on with business and. Mrs. Awesome. Birthday Bob Sadler 
ask. Um, she wants to know, are you getting, are you, and you kind of answered this and I, I want to hear more about it, but are you okay. like on the trend train doing what everybody's doing with brushes and things like that? Or use like, do you have a thing about your own brand that you feel like you stay true to? And you were talking about yeah. like in the fall, how new things come out and innovative things and. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. We, we, so for me, and I always say that I'm a selfish creator. So I make <laughs> things that I really want and I would love to use. And then I hope that everyone else will love them and want to use them as well. So there was, there were plenty of opportunities for us to come out with these types of brushes. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my very dear friend Taylor from Taylor Expressions has them. Gina K has them. Uh, mm -hmm. There's, there's many different brands that, that have these in all different shapes and forms. Uh, but I, that's not something that I use every day. So we came out with uh, these brushes. So these are our, our blending brushes because I don't do a lot of big blending. I do mm -hmm. a lot more of the, the simplified or, or the, the concentrated blending. So this is what worked for me. So luckily there was kind of a, a, a part of the market that this was missing. So right. that's what we came out with. Now, very soon after that, there are going to be a lot of brands that will, of course, you know, create something similar because it's something that right. they would use as well. But for us, I really create things based upon a need. So if I'm making something and I'm looking at it and I'm creating, I'm like, you know what? I really wish I had this. Now, I will also say that I am certainly not someone that tries to reinvent the wheel. If some other brand has it and it's phenomenal, we bring it in. We we carry over a mm -hmm. hundred different brands of Brutus Monroe because of our storefront. Oh. So if it's not broken, I'm not trying to fix it. Now, if it is broken, I will try to fix it. But that's <laughs> we, we really haven't had to do a lot of that in the industry. I mean, we have really, really great brands that work very, very hard. So yeah, I, mm -hmm. I try to be as original as possible. But we're in an industry where there's going to be a lot of people that think of the same things at the same time. And it's going to be who you know brings it to market first. But there are a lot of people that craft. So there's so much room for everyone uh, that's, that's creating and, and developing yeah. products, which is which is great. All right, I think you're right. Yeah, there's it's yeah. a big table. It's a big table, a big oh, craft well, table. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna let you you you've done your hard work. Now you we're just going to uh, let you have a moment here. Let those shoulders relax, and we're going to do a little business and come back to you and say good night. How's that? Okay. You've, you've done the hard part. We're going to ask you the thoughtful question at the end. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> oh, are you going to want to play? I saw a whole bunch of people have already played. You're going to want to play. We want to see what you come up with with these parameters a small bag wheel rainbow colors and shimmer it, we want to see what you have you have your own gifts don't be shy just make your very best take your very best picture upload it before sunday night at midnight if you're a patron you have till thursday at midnight as well be on the board be in our gallery it's a lot of fun there's also opportunity to take to do process videos the shorter the better in my world because i we have to preview them all but we do have leslie and she previews them for us and it's great so that's how you do it we do have laura bassin coming up next week that's sometimes aka laura fedora and we have may may helm Amanda Stevens after that with those beautiful lights, Vicki Ruda, and then Je Jeannie Liu, one of my favorite little ladies in the world with well, the moving bathtubs in the Hawaii <laughs> when she went on vacation. We're looking forward to seeing each and every one of them. Uh, Vicki Ruda is training to stay up late awesome. because she's from the UK. Join us each and every week. We go live with the slideshow at 610, show at 630. Yeah, where are you going to see all these people? Right here on Craft Roulette. Oh, we have some wonderful patrons. Patrons, tomorrow morning there's going to be an announcement about our all patron Zoom call, which will be a week from tomorrow on our Zoom blog. The announcement is we will be doing it on a Zoom call. But I think we're going to, I'm going to talk to Mr. Producer about doing it a little differently. I think I've got an idea and I think it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. So make sure that you have that on your calendar for the second Saturday in June. And it's going to be noon central daylight time. So join us if you're a patron. We would like to meet you and we may have a game. I think it'll work. I do. I think it'll work. We'll see. 
time will tell. Thank you so much for your support. Um, we have levels that should fit everybody. I hope so. Um, we have a lot of extra content. It was really fun to see your polls this week or today. I had a poll out on which parameters they liked best in May. It was almost the same, though. Everybody was pretty even. Interesting. Interesting situations there. Oh, that confetti means it's time to give away some good stuff. Are we ready to... If you were, if you sent in a card last week, your name will be on this board and you can win some wonderful prizes from our generous spin sponsors. Let's see what we've got going on. Mr. Producer, what are we giving away first? Handmade OGD? card with an itty bitty gift. Hand, the original giveaway, our OG, a handmade card with an itty bitty gift. Let's see who wins it. I will send this anywhere. If you're next door, I'll hand deliver it. But I'm, I don't have any crafters in my neighborhood. <laughs> oh. uh, but I, yeah, that's okay. Let's see. Ooh, Christina Holeman. You do need to let me know that you want this. There will be a claim prize form that opens up right after the show or after the spins. Make sure you use the email that you use to send in the card so I know it's really you. You got your fingers and toes crossed? Cindy, does that hurt? Don't walk, you could fall. Just do some chair dancing. And what is this for? A goodie bag? We haven't given away a goodie bag in weeks. We'll do a stamp set. Yeah, okay, Jen, Jen already has her. I got something else already ready for going out, so let's, um, what do we do with Jen? She, by the way, Jen won the card of the month in May for scrapbook and oh, so, oh gosh, we'll figure I should out. never have said that. We'll figure something out for you, Jen. Here's the normal Brutus Monroe uh, giveaway that we're going to do every week this month. We're also going to do a special one at the end of this giveaway. So oh, we are. Mm -hmm. I'll be darned. Fun. So this is the normal giveaway. Normal giveaway. We're doing this all month, so you'll you'll want to play. The normal giveaway, as opposed to the abnormal giveaway. Bonus Brutus. Who's gonna be lucky tonight? Oh, Teresa Parmenter. You lucky ducky. She's gonna love that. She's a good girl. She's been with us a long time. And then this is for Pear Blossom Press, who has this world's best foam tape. And all those wonderful little lights. I can hear music. I never could hear this before. You can't hear it. Christopher, you're, you're out in the cold on this one. Kimmer Marie! She had a really cool card this time. It was like the Yeti. Or it was frozen or something. The white door. It was very clever. Very pretty. Let's see. This one's for May May. <laughs> May May give it away. <laughs> I hope she comes on now. Oh, after I messed up her name so much. Melissa. Melissa B. Congratulations and let me know as soon as the show's over that you want it. Go to craftroulette.live, claim prize. And so and now mm -hmm. i'm going to invite christopher back on to explain the super secret special one-of-a-kind <laughs> last minute giveaway <laughs> sounds great you're on <laughs> all right christopher, Hello, tell everyone. Us. all right so very last minute i decided i mean i already have a gift card inside of this card so i want to give away this card to one of you and i'm going to load the gift card for you so uh you will get the card that I made this evening, I'm gonna make it out to you. And then also I'm gonna load up the gift card for you as well. Oh, All right, here we go. That's super. Somebody's gonna be real happy to get your mail. <laughs> Fun mail all the way. Yeah, wow, wow, it's right. It's slowing down, it's slowing down. Who's gonna get it? Torres, and yeah. I look at the phrase. Good for you. That's so cool. 
That's so cool. Like, yeah, I think pretty much it's open now, right? The mm -hmm. claim, claim gift or claim prize. So you go to craftroulette.live, fill out the form, use the same email that you sent in the card, and we'll get everything taken care of. I'll try to do it this weekend too, so you can get on it and get some shopping done. So we have this rock star, Christopher. Her name is Grandma Gay, and she yeah. oh, she was down in a she's in Texas, and she was in a tornado warning or watch tonight. So I'm not sure that she's on right now, but she always asks the thoughtful question of the day for our guests. And uh, <laughs> I was on a call with her the other day and I asked, she said, Mary, I have a question for you. And I said, is it a thoughtful question? And anyway, it, was, it wasn't, but it was fine. But uh, it was just straight up question. But her question for you, sir, is, are you a sunrise or sunset person? Oh, that is a really great question. I am absolutely <laughs> a sunset person. I, I love the, the sunset. And I know that when the sun sets, it is eventually going to rise. So sunset is is definitely my, <laughs> that's my cup sweet. of tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a nice way to put it. Yeah, the yeah. sun will. The sun also rises by Hemingway. Absolutely. Are you a Hemingway person? I uh, guess, Hemingway. absolutely. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. A little too heady for me. I'm much more simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It's. I think it's. It's great because it's all up to how you decipher it. So that's. I like things that make me think. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, what'd you think about tonight? Oh my goodness, I had a blast. I had so much fun. I. Uh, I was a, obviously a little nervous, as you will be at the beginning, because although you can be as prepared as you possibly can, and you were, the wheel still. <laughs> the wheel still is going to spin, and you're still going to have to figure out exactly what you are going to do. But I implore anyone that is is thinking about joining and creating things from this incredible, incredible program to do it. It's it's so much fun. And you don't have to do it live. <laughs> so it's it's you you have the ability to to redo and, and change and, and make all sorts of really fun things. But I think that these particular prompts are going to be something that are, are pretty simple for you to be able to create all sorts of really great cards and, and give them mm -hmm. to those that you love. Yeah, I think we're going to have some really fine, fine th things coming in. And everybody will be able to see the gallery Monday morning at just after midnight. So, and then again on Tuesday night, we review some of them and, and talk about them. And I case one of them. Because oh, awesome. we have the we have the greatest card detective show on the air called Who Done It. <laughs> I love it. Or we just can't stop playing, Christopher. We just can't stop. <laughs> I love and it. Or we just don't have serious bone in our bodies. But that's um, okay. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good match. Well, how do we ever get anything done? I don't know. But it's okay. Right. Thank you so much. You were a delight to have. I am so glad that you joined us. It was just wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you wonderful. so much, so much for having me. And also, I don't know if we mentioned it, but there is a discount code, I believe, for everyone, correct? We didn't. We didn't. Yeah. And yes, so there, there is. is. There is a discount code for everybody. And I want everyone to uh, to know about that because it applies to everything. So even the new Oz release, even you know any of the new things that that have recently come out, it it applies to everything, every brand, everything on the website. The only stipulation is it doesn't apply to events. So if you see any events or classes like that, it doesn't apply to those because obviously there are other people that are teaching those, so we can't discount their rates. But there's over two thousand eight hundred products on the website, uh, and you can use it on any of those. Good night, nurse. That's wonderful. Well, we'll keep you guys. I believe it is Craft 15. Was it mentioned? I'm yes. Sorry. I, I think it is. I think it's I think capital. it is. I All think capital. it's, yeah, I think it's, it's a, a, yeah, it's not case sensitive, but I do believe it is Craft okay. 15. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds great. I think you're going to keep your um, inventory pickers busy. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know if it is Craft Fifteen. I'm getting uh, okay, let's producers shaking their heads. <laughs> so was it maybe Fun Fifteen? I don't know. What is, well, is guess that, what? We We're a... going to make it Craft Fifteen. So okay, we'll if, just if, make if, it. That's craft what I have 15. in my back end. So. Okay. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. So All Craft right. Fifteen, it is. They're they're feverishly on their laptops over there, uh, adding that to the site. So Craft I'll Fifteen will work keep within busy. a second. <laughs> there you go, and it is on Craft Roulette Live. Under Associates, Spin Sponsors, 
you'll be oh. able to find it there too if you forget and so it's it's all good and if you do forget just go over to craft roulette show facebook group ask somebody we have lots of wonderful glitter fairies that are very helpful so they'll they'll Woo. get you covered so anyway well this is when we kiss our brain you said you were going to kiss your right brain because yeah. it needs more attention than your left brain your left Correct. brain's kind of on <laughs> autopilot so yes. it, let me see if I can remember which one's my right. Okay, this is it. Um, <laughs> we got it. Got Do you know it. how long the code's good for, Christopher? Oh. Uh, it is good until uh, the end of June. So you have the all of June, June to use it. Yep. How lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we have much. lots of I'm other things coming out soon. blow you a kiss. Yeah. So. And there's no limit. So there's you can use it as many times as you would like. If you want to use it 50 times, if you want to use it twice, you can use it every day in June if you want to. So uh, there is no limit to the amount of times that you use it. Awesome. Awesome. Hold up what we're going to send them. Those oh, oh, things. oh. We got a pile for you too, mister. Ooh, oh, yeah. pile of craft roulette wheel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the basics for and you. What would be really fun is... If someone asks for it, if you could just give it to them. Okay, yeah, yeah absolutely. And then well, that way they'll come in and ask for it, and they'll be in your store. And I, I think love it'll it. Work awesome. <laughs> absolutely, I will. I will let my whole team know, and we will keep them in our our special spot where we keep uh, free gifts in the store, and they will know uh, when someone asks for it, we can grab it for them. Or if they bring in a beautiful black dog, like my boomer. Yes. <laughs> uh, although I feel like, though, shouldn't we make them bring a card? I feel like they should okay. probably. I like, I like it. I think they should probably present us with, and it doesn't have to necessarily, I would say, be from my episode. I, I would say bring, because you know, I'm sure many of the folks that, that watch have a gaggle of cards that they've made from the other episodes. So uh, <laughs> yeah, just bring us in a card, and what we'll 000. do is. Is, is we'll donate that card. So we, we have a local nursing home that we donate a lot of cards to. So if you bring the card to us, we will give you the, the stamp and we will make sure that your card gets into the hands of someone that will, that will really love to use it. Sounds perfect. That's what it sounds like. Well, let's not yeah. mess up this day. I'm glad my mouth started working, but let's not mess up the show. I think we're gonna end on a good spot right there. You all perfect. kiss your brains. Make some cards. Be nice to each other. You're always so nice. We'll see you over on the Facebook group. We'll see you Monday on the gallery. We'll see you Tuesday on In Review next Friday with Laura Fedora. Christopher, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been my stay, pleasure. <laughs> stay safe. Be, be good card makers. I love y'all. Thank you, Mr. Producer. Thank you, Christopher. Good night.